Welcome to Alka Hello. My name is Think Twice Mike, and I'm here to teach you how to make clear ice. People are selling these new things that are basically thirty to a hundred dollars on the market that are making clear ice, which I can teach you how to make at home very simply. If you have an old lunchbox cooler, you should be able to make clear ice very simply, and I'm going to teach you that right now. Time to learn how to make cheap clear ice at home. Here we go. All you're gonna need is a lunchbox and a process called directional freezing. You don't actually need this ice tray, but I'm gonna teach you how to use this ice tray to your advantage um, and teach you how to make nice cubes of uh, clear ice without having to carve and make that mess um, that you'll see in just a moment. So um, basically what I did with my rubber ice tray is you can see I, um, cut holes directly in the bottom and the, with the process of directional freezing because the cooler or lunchbox is insulated on the sides it will actually freeze from the top to the bottom and pushing all the air bubbles and even some of the metals down into the bottom of the container making your uh, ice very clear on top and also having even less metals and stuff in it less flavor in it um, for your dilution of your cocktails and your whiskey so um, I'm sure if you're a whiskey drinker or a cocktail maker, you probably have one of these at home. Just uh, buy another one <laughs> if you need to and, and uh, go ahead and cut holes in the bottom. And Or you can buy one with like circular ones with holes in them and you can submerge it in the water after you fill it up. So I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. All you're going to have to do is uh, fill this up with water and go ahead and submerge this at the very top and try to like let it rest at the top. It is rubber, so it should naturally just rest at the top of your of your water here. And then, um, like I said, with the process of directional freezing, it'll freeze on down and through those holes will allow you to uh, get these clear ice cubes that I have here. And on the side with the leftover space, woohoo! With the side on the leftover space of, of your cooler, you can carve obviously these column um, um, blocks of ice in for Collins glass, and uh, and you know make make a nice Tom Collins out of it. But um, but majority of you I think are going for this uh, clear cube, and uh, and for wh whiskey drinkers especially or even like an old fashioned, um, these are excellent. So here we go. All right. So now we have 24 hours later, a nice chunk of ice. But because it's only 24 hours and we're using directional freezing, essentially the water is freezing from the top to the bottom. So the bottom is not all the way frozen. So what I'm gonna have to do is dump this out into a sink or something so that way I don't spill it all over my table here. So I will be right back. So as you can see, my ice tray, I only used 24 hours so I didn't have this giant block of ice essentially so I didn't have to carve so, so much and have a complete mess all over my kitchen. So instead, I have now this ice cube tray and remember the holes that we put in it, boom, boom, boom. And so what's it, what, what it did was freeze from the top to the bottom and it pushed all the air bubbles and all like even some metals down to the bottom and you're having this beautiful clear ice block. So what I'll have to do here is chip away a little bit and on the side here we have a nice clear if you carve away some of this fogginess to it and so you'll go ahead and start seeing your clear ice blocks popping out very beautifully like so so what I advise is just take them and you'll put them in a, a little jaw or a little uh, container of some sort that you can stick right back in the freezer and you can keep it nice and good. But see how these are beautifully clear blocks of ice and you can use this for some shaking ice if you want. Block of ice, block of ice on the side of your ice tray that you had left in your cooler if you have left space. 
Of course, um, this is going to be a great alternative to buying one of these clear ice makers that they have on the market for as much as $120. So I'm just going to take this and chip away a little bit of this uh, not so clear ice just by carving it here. Be careful, I have to cut myself doing this. So we're just going to shave that away the best way we can. <laughs> to a clear block of column ice here. You can see how it's a little bit frayed here, but if you rinse it down just a little bit with the water, I can't hold on to it to save my life right now. But you make it nice and even all the way around, and you got yourself a column ice cube. That'll go in a nice Collins glass, nice and long. Throw that in your freezer to sustain it. I will be right back to show you how to make a diamond cube. All right, here we go. I'm gonna teach you how to make a diamond cube. So what you'll do is you'll take it, put it on its side, and you'll just take a little bit off of each side here. Angle it down, and this will be the top of your diamond. You can kind of see how it's done there. And then you'll take it, on the back, on the very bottom side, you'll put it down here and you'll start chipping away to make your diamond. And you'll take away each corner and then you'll do it a little bit to each side. And there you have a diamond cube that will fit. Clear diamond cube that will fit nicely into your martini glass. And there you have a beautiful diamond cube. Thank you for watching Alpha Hello. I hope this showed you some value and taught you how to make clear ice at home. Um, it's always fun to play around with new things at home and, uh, you know, do what you can to have a little fun. A lot of people are uh, putting cute or putting uh, berries and stuff in there too. So just so you know, you can't really see with this one. I don't really know why. Probably because I had it in the freezer for too long. But thank you for watching Alcalo. See you next time.